In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create a cutaway view. So this is the side view of where we we're looking at before, and I've created this as a saved view. What we're wanting to create is a cut through this building, so like a section, but in a 3D perspective. In order to create that, we need to, well, there's a few ways, but let's do it this way, go to our ground floor view, and we need to create a marquee. And so I've got a, a marquee box here, and we need that marquee to be a solid marquee where we I'm going a long way outside the building in this case just so we also get to see some of the terrain. Now we don't need to um, cut away a lot of the building so I'm just cutting away the first little half of the building and in order to see this we want to show selection marquee in 3D and we also need to update the layer setting so that can just be option element attributes layer setting and the one that I want to use is all layers in order to represent all of the layers. Now this is automatically making it a slightly strange view for a cutaway. I had a question about this uh, a while back. Why can we see part of the model fully and part of the model cut away? That is under our view, elements in 3D view, filter and cut elements in 3D. If we don't want it to do this, if we want to actually cut everything, we want to click the trim elements in marquee. And so that'll trim or cut away everything. And then we can create this as a saved view. So when we go down to our 3D views, save as, let's call this cut away color. So this is effectively doing what I'm trying to do. Uh, obviously I've, I'm missing some surfaces and that's why we've got the checkers, so don't worry too much about that. But this isn't necessarily the visual representation that I want to try to create. The one that I really want to try to create is a, a black and white view, which maybe also sh shows some shadows. So this is one that I've already created. So this is a, a 3D view with the lines, but it doesn't have shadows. This is a side view, so without the cut, that has shadows, eventually. Great. So the reason why I'm showing you this is because sometimes the colors can start to take away from what we're trying to create. In the black and white option, uh, we're seeing more of the shape, more of the form. We're seeing the outriggers, the, the panels, the doors. It stands out a little bit more in bold. This is creating with shadows because when we go to our 3D styles, we're using our sun shadows and it's in the OpenGL engine. When we go to the cutaway, come on, it's freezing on me a bit. If we want to create the shadows, what we need to do is going to the 3D styles and let's just change this to the Vectorial Engine for a minute. Now the Vectorial Engine is inferior to the OpenGL Engine for exploring. If we're wanting to move around, the Vectorial Engine is much slower. But if we're trying to create shadows, if we're trying to create line drawings, the Vectorial Engine gives us a much better view, a better representation. So once this is finally finished rendering, of course, when I'm casting shadows in 3D and there's a lot of furniture turned on, it's going to start to make the model quite slow. But of course, we want the furniture, 
We want the details. In this case, I've got the floor joists, which is adding a bit more depth. Uh, I don't have suspended ceiling hangers, but uh, I will show you one of those later. How we can add more information. Uh, there's enough information in the, um, the the oven's in the wrong place. Uh, but there's enough furnishing and fixtures to, to make it look interesting. And that's really what we're trying to create. Now, what I can do, if I've already got a save view, I could create a new one or I can update this. So I can right click, view settings, get current window settings. There's a couple ways to do that, but that allows us to use this save, save, use this same saved view and update the settings so that's now the representation we want to do. Like I said, in the vectorial engine, the last thing that we want to do is to try to go to the um, explore or the orbit tool and start to try fiddling with that. You can see that it turns to a wireframe and then it takes forever to, to regenerate 